This program started sometime, I think, in 2010. Uh, there are about under Professor Mills. And so I'm happy that the, the Eslawusu administration has continued with it and, and will continue to grow with it. I, I believe that when you look at the larger picture, um, when you look at President Mahama's promise, for example, to do one million coders, that as a presidential initiative will give more impetus to this, which is a ministerial initiative. This Girls in ICT program is a, is a, is a brainchild of the Ministry of Communications. But when you look at the one million coders pro, pro, pro program that President Mahama is promising and what that's going to do for us, then you then have a cater of women programmers and coders. And, and for me, like I've already said, the, the attention to detail that is required in programming and coding is one thing that you can't take away from women. And so I'm, I'm excited that we are, we're, we're catching them young, we're building um, the desire for coding and robotics in, in them. I, I've got a four-year-old kid. She's already learning coding. Um, my, a four-year-old daughter, actually. She's already learning coding. Um, my, my kid's sister is an engineer. She graduated from here, and today she's working in one of the top chip manufacturers in the world as an engineer. So I, I personally know the value of this, and so I, I think that this is a good program, and we need to continue to support it, and it must continue to run. But I'm excited about the future that, uh, God willing, in 2025, with President Mahama's president and the One Million Quotas program, this Girls in ICT program is even going to go a step higher to, to provide for more girls because, I mean, there's a limit to the resources that are available today. But then once you have that kind of program being rolled out, it then, it then makes it easy for you to have them trained and then you then link that up to the... The, the the ICT centers of excellence that President Mahama is looking for us to also build that will then be a center where you then have an off-taker for the skills. Because you see, it's one thing us creating the skill. is another thing creating an opportunity for the girls to be able to use the skill. And so that's why, for me, I like the integrated plan that President Mahama has. You know, his big push agenda has three billion US dollars, which is for ICT development. And so you've got the one million quarters program as one plug of it, which is building you the the human resource and capacity where we can have the girls in ICT as a sub model of it expanded and reaching out to more girls across the country. Then you've got the ICT Park, which is going to be a center of excellence in artificial learning, artificial intelligence, machine learning, large language model learning, cybersecurity, data protection. And, and then as that is running as well, you then have the digital jobs initiative that he spoke about last Sunday, where 300,000 jobs in conjunction with private uh, tech startups will be created for young people. Now, these tech jobs need skilled labor, and so that's where all of this fits in. So you realize that it's, a, it's an integrated solution to making sure that we, we don't have these young kids, these young girls go through school, finish, and then join the Association of Unemployed Graduate. They've got employable skill, we've created opportunity for private sector to plug in, and then that's an opportunity for them to work. So I, I just see the future for the young people of Ghana looks very great. Mm -hmm.